The engine has always been the heart of a Rolls-Royce, and although today's power units are vastly more complicated than those of an earlier era, the manner in which they are assembled, with care and minute attention to detail, has not changed at all. The 6.75 litre V8 power unit used in today's Rolls-Royces has been in production since 1959, but the introduction of modern manufacturing technology like this computer-controlled flexible machining unit and constant development of the power unit itself has enabled the company to keep pace with the never-ending demands of greater power, better fuel consumption and more efficient production. Alongside the modern machines at Crewe are those that have a more traditional aspect. They have not changed in more than half a century, but Crewe is not a place where change is undertaken for change's sake. Here, the old methods are abandoned only when the new offers an improvement in quality. At Rolls-Royce, there is no pressure for speed and numbers. Doing it right is the first priority. Thanks to constant improvement, the V8, which has recently been developed even further in turbocharged form for the Flying Spur, continues to keep Rolls-Royce in the forefront of luxury car technology. One of the secrets of the engine's performance and reliability is the care with which each one is assembled in the factory at Crewe. As in every other aspect of manufacture at the plant, modern technology is allied to traditional assembly techniques and modern computer-controlled tools ease the task of craftsmen employing basic engineering techniques which have not changed in a century. Engines are assembled by teams of vastly experienced workers, each of whom is responsible for a particular operation in the process. After the major components have been carefully prepared, they are gathered together in a marshalling area. It is only then that the process of actually assembling the engine can begin. During the build process, the engines are mounted on individual mobile stands which can be turned in all directions to give easy access. The engine stays with each operative for the exact amount of time which is required for the craftsman to carry out his job and to check it before passing it to his colleague at the next station. The pace of their movement from station to station is not the rhythm of a production line but the time required to achieve perfection. Engine assembly like all the other manufacturing operations at Crew, is now carried out on a team basis. The members of the team work closely together and each is capable of doing any job in the team's area. The old days of demarcation disputes are long gone and the spirit is one of cooperation and collaboration. Team members are encouraged to work together to improve production efficiency and suggestions which they submit are always investigated and usually incorporated into the work process. Because of the specialist nature of its market and its desire to encourage a close relationship with its customers, Rolls-Royce positively encourages potential and existing clients to visit the crew works to see how the motor cars are built. In a policy which makes it very different from most other manufacturers, Rolls-Royce encourages its visitors to talk to the workers they meet during their tour. Time to talk to visitors is allowed for when production targets are set and the workers are only too pleased to explain exactly what their job entails. But it's not a one-way flow of information. The team members are happy to benefit from talking to the kind of people who actually buy their products and thus pay their wages. There is, however, one group of people visitors will not meet. As a result of the reorganization under the team concept, there are no longer any supervisors at Crew. There are just team leaders. Even more surprisingly, there are no inspectors either. Each team is responsible for the quality and fitness of the work which it hands on to the next team. The men who check the torque of each individual bolt on a Rolls-Royce engine 
who check the static and dynamic balance of the crankshaft and flywheel assembly, and who still grind in the valves by hand, must be personally sure of the quality of their work before it is handed on to the engine testing team. Ever since it was introduced, the Rolls-Royce V8 has been continuously updated to keep abreast of increasingly stringent exhaust emission legislation and the market's desire for more power and performance. Fortunately, the increasing need to reduce emissions and increase power has coincided with immense advances in the application of electronics to vehicle power units. Electronic fuel injection the first application of such technology to modern engines has now been joined by engine management systems which control every aspect of the engine's performance. In doing so, they achieve power, fuel economy and exhaust cleanliness which would not have been conceivable just a few years ago. None of this, however, has simplified the task of the engine testers. Today's engines and their associated electronics are much more complex than those of earlier years, but the task of the test house crew is the same as ever, to ensure the engine is ready to do its job. Their role is vital, for they are the final checkpoint on the engine's journey to the customer. Once the power unit is signed off here, it goes directly to the assembly area to be mounted in a motor car. To make absolutely sure the engine is fit for the customer, the test shop will make it work hard for its living. No engine will work harder than the turbocharged unit fitted to the flying spur. As part of a five-hour test on the bench, the engine will be run at speeds which will make its exhaust manifolds glow cherry red. After this, a high-speed run down the autobahn will be nothing more than a drive in the country.